chapter 16, Books on Fatherhood Below. Not that there's real stiff competition in this department. A Model World and Other Stories by Michael Chabin and the Brothers Karamzov by Dostoevsky. Yeah, I got three kids. Not find the time for those slog fest reads either. I'll stick to glancing at their most voted on quotes from goodreads.com. Thank you very much. Zen. And the art of motorcycle maintenance. Yeah, I don't recall blowing through that summer wind reading either. Fathers and Sons by Ivan Turgenev. Yeah, Bukowski had a hard on for that sparse, bone dry Russian Nami. East of Eden by John Steinbeck. You have my attention. He could write circles around the great Russian writers with more effortless, charismatic, emotive. This land is your land grace, if you ask me. Unto the Sons by Gay Talese isn't gripping my attention past Gay trying to pull off the Tom Wolfe all-white suit post-Labor Day, which is in similar poor taste to me rocking my white polo in January, wearing my white privilege on my sleeves. Although chances are F. Scott Fitzgerald never bought a polo shirt at the outlet store in Lake George either. Controlling my kids a comedy, a love story, my book of essays and jokes about fatherhood transforming me into a serial comic author in the age of shadow banning and baby boomer grandparent bus is comparable to what? If Gore Vidal, Tony Robbins, and Lenny Bruce had a baby, think Saul Bellow if Woody Allen punched up the humor and it didn't sound so sanctimonious and Joseph Heller boorish after a while. Think Charles Bukowski cross-pollinated with Bill Hicks and Ronnie Dangerfield and Anthony Bourdain's gritty prose. Think of my book as studs Turkelt working for a state owned comedian and father of three. Think of Tom Papa's, Jim Gaffigan's, Paul Reiser's, and Bill Cosby's books on fatherhood with actual laugh generating, evocative feeling. Every biography I've ever read on comedians or writers fail to sing the inspirational, empowering praise of their children. So my book, Controlling My Kids a Comedy, a Love Story, is peerless in that regard. With the exception of Sammy Davis Jr.'s book, As I Am, where he talks about touring with his father as a vaudeville act as young as four. I know it's the other way around, but work with me, people. In his book, Sammy's fatherly advice that led me to write this book is as follows. If you do entertainment without getting paid, then you're just doing it for ego expansion purposes. 